What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the iPhone 8 in space gray, not the plus, this is the standard version. If you're interested in the larger plus, then that video will be linked in the cards. So definitely do go ahead and check that out. So this is the cheapest of the new iPhones that have recently been announced. And it may be one of those that you want to upgrade to if you don't want too much of a larger phone and you don't want to be spending so much on something like the iPhone 10. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed and take a look. So initially looking at the box itself, it's a very dark gray slash black. And we've got the picture of the iPhone 8 here on the top. Now, I was in two minds about getting either this or the gold, but I have had a look at the gold in store. And the back plate kind of looks like a bit of a cream, so uh, I wasn't too sure about it. And this is definitely the color that I think looks best. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. So we'll get rid of this plastic. And the box is the same as usual. So we've got the iPhone logo on the left and right, uh, the Apple logo on the top and bottom. And then we've got all of our info in here. And I have gone for the 64 gigabyte version here. There is also a 256 gigabyte option, which is gonna cost you around about 100 pounds or $100 more. So getting the top off here. We're presented with design by Apple in California. In this pack, you have all of your usual stuff. So there's a quick start guide. There's a SIM card ejector tool. There's some more safety and warranty info in here. And then we've got the Apple stickers. And here is the brand new iPhone 8. Now we'll put that to the side and we'll also compare this uh, for size and things to the iPhone 8 shortly. And other than that, inside the box, there is just your standard charger. This charger does not support fast charging. Uh, if you want fast charging on the iPhone 8, it is available. And check out my video that'll be linked in the cards to find out more about that. We've got some standard wide earbuds. Now these earbuds do have a lightning connector. And as well as that, you also get the lightning connector to 3.5 millimeter converter. And the reason for that, as you guys already know, there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the iPhone 8. And finally, we've got a USB-A to lightning cable. Now let's move all of this to the side so we can have a look at this new iPhone. Now, when I take the plastic off, just have a good look at it because that's the only time you're gonna see it completely fresh uh, with no fingerprints whatsoever. There you go, just uh, take that in. And uh, there is the plastic off. Now right away, I'm gonna bring in the iPhone 8 Plus so you can see the size difference. And as you can see, there is a pretty significant size difference. If you're somebody who doesn't want too much of a larger phone, then uh, the iPhone 8 may be the better option for you. Let's put these both down on the table and let's bring in the dummy model of the iPhone 10. So here, side by side, you can see that the iPhone 10 is only ever so slightly bigger compared to the iPhone 8, but it's significantly smaller compared to the iPhone 8 Plus. So if you're gonna be going from, say, the iPhone 6, 6S or 7 uh, to the iPhone 10, then that won't be too much of a difference in terms of the size because it's still gonna be quite comfortable to hold, uh, but you will get that much larger display, 5.8 inches versus 4.7 inches on the iPhone 8. Now we're gonna power this up, but while this is powering up, we're gonna have a look around the phone. So up front, as mentioned, it is a 4.7 inch display. Now this is still LCD and it's still got quite low resolution, 1334 by 750 I believe, so just slightly over 720p. In my opinion, this is definitely outdated now because we are in 2017. This has had the same resolution since the iPhone 6 and it's not changed. Now, in terms of pixel density, it's not too bad. You've got 326 PPI pixel density, but when you compare it to the iPhone 8 Plus, where you've got uh, 1080p, 401 PPI, or on the iPhone 10, you've actually got 458 PPI pixel density. So this just goes to show you uh, how low the resolution on this is. Now at the top, there is a seven megapixel front facing camera with an f2.2 aperture. There's an earpiece, which also acts as a speaker. 
Touch ID here at the bottom and you can notice those bezels and that is the reason why in this body we've only got a 4.7 inch display and with the iPhone 10 uh, with a similar sort of size body, slightly larger body, you are getting a much larger display and that is because of those minimal bezels. On the right hand side we've got power button as well as a SIM card tray. On the left hand side, mute switch and volume buttons. Nothing at the top. Lightning connector here at the bottom with two grills. One of these is a speaker, so we do have stereo speakers on here like we had with the 7. And the other is just the mic on here. Now, looking at the back, we have this glass back, which as mentioned earlier on, does have a lot of fingerprints on. And the glass does curve into the sides. Uh, looks quite slick in my opinion. I do like the metal and glass combination on smartphones. And we've got this uh, nice metal frame around, which uh, feels nice and solid. Now, I'm not too sure how strong this back glass is going to be and if it might break. To be honest, I really don't want to find out if it's going to break. I'm sure some people will be doing lots of drop tests with this. So I would definitely recommend picking up a case for this from our video sponsor, Tech21. Tech21 have just launched their new range of cases for the iPhone 8, which guarantee the most effective protection drop after drop. This is thanks to their impact absorbing material, Flex Shock, which protects from drops of up to three meters and the fact that Tech21 drop test their cases 20 times to ensure durable, long-lasting protection. I actually did a drop test with one of their cases last year for the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, you can definitely go ahead and check that video out. If you do want to pick up a, a case for your iPhone 8 from Tech21, I'll be leaving a link to them in the description below. Now up top here, we've got a single 12 megapixel camera, which has an f1.8 aperture. Now this is not gonna have all of the fancy features like we've got on the iPhone 8 Plus, as well as the iPhone 10, uh, such as the optical zoom, the portrait mode where it blurs the background, studio lighting, none of these features are here on the iPhone 8 and that is what you're gonna lose out because of the single camera. But it still should be really good because you've still got optical image stabilization and you've got 4K video recording at up to 60 frames a second and 1080p at up to 240 frames a second. So that's gonna be some serious slow motion. If you wanna see a camera comparison of the iPhone 8 with another device, definitely let me know in the comments below which device you'd like to see it compared with. Now I'm gonna quickly take you through the setup of this and for that you do need a SIM card. So I've just popped the SIM card in here and we do have this quick start option. So it says if you have an iPhone or iPad running iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign in automatically. So I've got the iPhone 8 Plus which I've set up and does have iOS 11. So let's try this out. Oh, very cool. Set up your new iPhone. This will transfer your current settings. Unlock to continue. Passcode is required. We've got a very simple passcode here. One, two, three, four. Use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. So, yep, we're doing that. A few moments later. Setup failed. Six, minus six, seven, two, two. I don't know what that means. Okay, that was a fail. So um, we'll go ahead and just set this up manually. So just connect it onto Wi-Fi. All right, set up Touch ID. We'll set up Touch ID later. We'll just set this up as a new iPhone so you can put in your Apple ID. Terms and conditions. Well, this takes a long time. You can uh, turn on iCloud Drive, which I'm not gonna do for now. Location services, yep, you can know my location. Siri will set up later. Uh, don't share my analytics with Apple with true tone display notification. So this is just telling you that uh, you do have a true tone display here, which is going to adjust uh, the white balance of the display depending on your surroundings. Continue new home button. So this is the same as what we had last year. You can just choose your haptic feedback of uh, the button because it's no longer a physical button. Display zoom. Welcome to your iPhone. Done. So guys, there we have it. That's the iPhone 8 unboxing and first look at the Space Gray version. Now, I'm really not sure how many people are going to go for this. Uh, there was lots in stock as well uh, when it came to pre-ordering. I think the iPhone 8 is quickly becoming outdated. Uh, a lot of people are going to be trying to go for the 10. But as mentioned, if you're somebody who's on a bit of a budget and you can't dish out a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds for the iPhone 10. And another reason why you might want to go for it is because of its more compact size. It's quite a bit smaller compared uh, to the iPhone 8 Plus. But in terms of the size difference, this is the same and it's something that we've been seeing from the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. 
So guys, what do you think of the iPhone 8? Do you think it's a little bit outdated now in terms of the design and the display? Would you still go for it? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications. There's plenty more content coming up on here. Thanks for watching. This is Safa on Super Saf TV. I'll see you next time. I'm not sure if I should edit this part out because um, I'm just taking a bit of time. I'm recording at 4K, so that's a lot of gigs that are going uh, just by me waiting for this to be done.